Welcome to the Militia Gaming Community, I'm Trigger, and this is my Vault Enforcer Academy Summit Guide for the Crew 2. Let's go! My goal with these Summit Guides is to prepare you to earn Platinum Rewards every single week. That's why I put this video out before the Summit goes live. I purchase all of the Summit cars and run all of the events beforehand so you don't have to. I'm not claiming to be the best in the world, but my advice is very good for the average player. In addition to that, I've got a spreadsheet that shows all of my pro settings for all of the cars that I've tuned. I will have a link for that in the description down below. All right, let's get into it. First up, the Temecula Winery's Slalom. This Slalom is a full speed Slalom. Top speed is very important on this one, so do your best to keep the speed throughout the run. I would back up and get a running start. Once you've done it a couple of times, you'll get used to the path and it will come down to how fast your car is and what your build is. Try to get a full set of score breaker parts and make sure you have the affix stat skilled on every single piece. I'm going to be using the Ford Focus RS as this is the same vehicle that the world record holder uses. My pro settings for it look like this. Next up is the Golden Hills Desert Slalom. The same rule applies for this one. Make sure you have a full set of score breaker parts along with the affix stat skilled on every single part and hopefully it's maxed out. This alone will make a huge difference in your score. Of course, make sure you finish the slalom and don't miss any of the pylons. After that, it's really just your practice that will help you improve your score. Nothing tricky here, just keep learning the course. I managed to get the 6th best time on Xbox with my Zonda, and these are my pro settings. Next up, the Big Bend Escape. I took a look at the leaderboard and the longest distances are made using drag cars, but to get to the highway with a drag car, it's insanely tough. So I would recommend using the Regera or the Lavoitcher Noir with Nitro Chemist. These two cars do very well off-road and they don't slow down so much like some of the other cars. This will for sure allow you to get to the highway and make a minimum of 10,000 yards away, which will be a decent score, but if you can control yourself well on the highway, you can reach 15 to 20,000 yards. I'll let this full run play so that you can see the path I take because there's one section of the highway I do cut out and then towards the end I cut into the dirt in order to avoid the circle for just a little bit longer.
My pro settings for the Regera look like this. Next up is the Temecula Winery's Special Stage Rally Cross event using the Abarth 124 Rally. This event is straightforward, with the exception of a couple shortcuts that are very small. I recommend cutting the hill here at 19%. Try to stay left of the trees. I went through them in this clip, which is really not recommended, and I should be able to clean that up for my full summit run. At 55%, you can cut across this field, and actually from here on out I'll let the run play because you can cut a lot of these corners towards the end of the race. My pro settings for the 124 Rally are like this. Next is the brand new Outlaw Chase event using an Enforcer unit. These Outlaw Chase events aren't much different than the regular street or hypercar chase events, except of course they happen off-road. My advice is very similar for all of the chase events, keep the villains in front of you. If you pass one, just continue rolling and go to the next one or the next pack. It is much faster to keep your speed and head to the next villain in front of you rather than slowing down to get the one behind you. This is especially true for these outlaw chases because it takes longer to regain speed once you slow down in the dirt. All right, so since we don't know if it'll be a rally raid or a rally cross version of the outlaw chases, I'm gonna show you pro settings for both the Dodge TRX and the Camaro Z28 Enforcer units. Here you go. Next is the Roswell Rally Raid using an Enforcer unit. I tested both Enforcer units on this course and ran 10 seconds faster on average with the Hummer HX concept. If the times were fairly close, I would have said to use the one that you like best, but 10 seconds is much faster and it will make a big difference in your summit score. I'll let my full run play here so you can see my path. This was the fastest path I could find, but it's not a perfect run either. I'm sure you can run it faster in the summit. None on my account.
my Helmer HX Concept Enforcer Unit Pro settings look like this. Up next is the Miami Racetrack Touring Car Race. However, this is a crossover event and you will be forced to use a Rallycross Enforcer Unit. So I will be using the Camaro Z28 Enforcer Unit. I've changed my pro settings quite a bit to adequately suit this car to a track environment. And I'm telling you, the way this Camaro grips around this track is actually very nice. I was pleasantly surprised. The footage you are seeing is not an event, it's just me practicing the Miami racetrack course. There aren't any cuts or any secrets on this one, just drive the track as best you can. The pro settings I'm using for the Z28 are like this. Next up is the Dallas Rallycross event using another enforcer unit. I again will be using the Z28 Camaro for this one. I'm going back to my off-road pro settings as they are a little bit different in the dirt for this car. This Camaro definitely handles well on this course. There are a couple of things that I will mention. Take the design shortcut on the left. It is much faster to do that than to go around the corner. Don't overdo your speed going through it though. It's much more important to get through it clean. You'll scrub a lot of speed bouncing off the walls. And secondly, the second wood jump leads you directly into a wall after a long straight, unless you brake check just before the jump. And if you do this, it'll allow you to make the turn when you land. My pro settings for the Camaro for this event look like this. And the last event is the Central Woods to Amarillo Street Race using the F12 Berlinetta. This race doesn't have a ton of turns and most of the turns require no braking. There are two cuts that I recommend. At 37%, you'll cut the corner to the right and go straight towards the checkpoint. Make sure that you reset your car as soon as you hit the checkpoint. At 49%, you're gonna go through the checkpoint, but stay to the left of it, and instead of turning right, you'll actually continue straight directly over the hill in front of you towards the next checkpoint across the field. And that's really it for this race. The rest of it comes down to how well you drive. My pro settings for the F12 look like this. And that's it for this one, guys. If you have any questions, don't forget you can hit me up on IG or Twitter. My DMs are always open. Thank you so much for watching. Shout out to all the Militia subs. I will catch you on the next one. Trigger out.